Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Teno with Mercados Interactive Partners located in the Research Triangle area in North Carolina. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fantastic tutorial uh, about how to grade the Inspire One log color footage. Um, so basically the Inspire One is, is this uh, quadcopter made by DJI and uh, it comes with the functionality of, of uh, being able to shoot in log uh, color mode. And so um, today, what we're going to be taking a look, instead of using Photoshop, which is what we usually do, uh, this time we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve to take a look at one possibility of how to uh, grade that footage to make it look more like film. Let's uh, dive in. So I'm here in DaVinci Resolve and um, basically the first thing is to add to your media pool the uh, the footage that you're going to be uh, working with and then create a timeline and put that in there and that's what I've done already so that we start uh, at this point. Uh, there's plenty of uh, tutorials on the web about how to get to this point which is basically creating a timeline and putting your media in it. So here we are. I have here uh, my first node and my footage here. Uh, Inspire One uh, takes the footage in 4K and so that's what we're working here uh, with. So first I, I like to keep the first node intact without doing anything there. Second is Let's go ahead and change the label to negative. And what we're going to do is give this a 3D LUT. Today we're going to be using the 3D LUTs from Impulse as we did in the previous tutorial. So you can check them out. So here we're going to select one of the negative LUTs uh, and Cineon conversion. So you can select the one that you prefer. I'm going to just choose the first one here makes it more muggy actually. Then I'm going to create another node here uh, pressing option S you can do that instead of having to uh, go here to node add node or instead of having to right click add node you can just like do uh, option S. This one I'm going to call uh, correction and then create another one option S one more time and this one print. This one's going to be towards the end here. And uh, this one is going to be a 3D LUT from Cineon Conversion and now I'm going to be using the Cineon to Kodak 2383 FPE Film Print D60 Impulse and there you go it's already looking fantastic so let's take a look at a couple things here in the correction itself. So I'm going to be using uh, Juan Melara's uh, strategy to make this into a the blockbuster, the summer blockbuster uh, look that he actually described in in a fantastic color grading tutorial, and I'm sure that you have seen it uh, already. If not, you can search for it in Google for Juan Melara's. Um, da Vinci Resolve Summer Blockbuster Grading Tutorial. He goes into detail of the technique, so I'm definitely not going to go into the details of that. So uh, I'm just going to go over it really quick. Basically, we're going to create one that is the shadows and another one that is the highlights. In the shadow nodes, we're uh, going to bring the gamma down. To blue and I'm going to exaggerate this while I'm doing the correction um, and uh, one thing to note is that you're going to be using the log instead of the primary so you can manage the ranges so bring this significantly down then go ahead and re reduce here as you can see the high range uh, so that you're not affecting the highlights so much and then reduce the low range so that you're affecting a little bit more of the low range. Let's go 
go ahead and change this to a gain of 0.7 and then reset this so that uh, the right color can be introduced. So I'm doing like a, a bit of a bluish color there. In the second node, we're going to introduce the a highlight that makes it more green, therefore making the look more teal. So let's change the high range to 0.333, reduce this range as well, and then introduce this teal or the green so that it makes it more teal. And uh, I'm not going to do it with the midtone, I'm going to be doing it with the highlight. So, like so. And so, of course, now the highlights are all muggy. And so, we're going to go back to the shadows. And in the highlights, without touching any of the ranges, uh, just add the opposite color of the green, therefore, clearing the highlights like so all right and um, basically that's kind of the correction for for the um, teal look then we're going to make a mask to make everything that is not teal uh, the warmer colors in the scene uh, be still preserved. So we're going to create a layer mixer node. Um, and uh, let's get rid of this link here. Add an input, input there. Add another corrector node here at the bottom that we're going to call warm. There we go. And then just add it like so. Now, it is important the, the order that you use with layer mixer nodes. Um, in parallel, parallel nodes, you don't have to respect the order. But uh, in this one, it's important that you do. So the upper one is going to go to this correction. And the lower one is going to go to the warmer one. And uh, whatever I select here is going to be excluded from this correction here. So in this one I'm gonna select the warmer colors here like so. so get a bit soft there and then just there we go all right and then let's go ahead and blur it significantly and denoise it a little bit all right let's offset it towards warm maybe a little bit of the midtones as well towards orange. All right, as you can see, of course, it is actually doing what we uh, wanted, which was to make everything in the scene that is warm to preserve its warmth and uh, everything else look like it's really, really cold towards uh, a teal look. Great. And uh, all right, so then what we could do here is add a denoise. If you feel like your footage is a little bit noisy, you can denoise it. Um, I'm going to be using neat video denoiser. And I'm going to not go into details of like setting up this. Um, in general, you can, you know, 
uh, do a little bit more of like uh, the noising with the right profile and whatnot. Um, and then um, right before we go to print here, let's sharpen a little bit. So let's reduce a little bit the gain already. And uh, change the radius to 48 or so. And you can play with the settings, of course, depending on your footage to see where it looks best. Uh, you don't want it too evident that you were sharpening. But at the same time, like uh, sometimes I, I, I know that the Inspire one is actually coming out with some softness, especially if you reduce the sharpness in the settings. And so uh, this should be bringing back a little bit of like the sharpness in the footage. All right, great. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we take a look at it like it's looking pretty good, pretty sharp, warm, and um, blue, teal in the lower ends. Uh, final touches, of course, is that you can add uh, grain if you want to really want to make it like, uh, you know, uh, filmic. You can just add a node and then, or a, or a mat, and add some grain, and then the cinemascope. Uh, to finish it off. Um, let's take a look at exporting for uh, the CinemaScope. So when you go to delivery, you can actually change here in the settings, you can change the, uh, the size. So 1920 by 818 is going to give us approximately the CinemaScope of 2.35 to 1. A frame rate ideally you would put it to 24 frames per second to make it more filmic but uh, 2997 is fine and uh, and then pretty much that's it like uh, you give it a custom name if you want uh, you export it you add to render queue and then you render it so I hope that you enjoy this I try to make it as fast as possible without uh, really like leaving a lot of details out but just to, to give you an introduction of how to grade the Inspire one as always if you have any questions comments good or bad uh, either way we we love to take a look at those so uh, just leave them in the uh, YouTube comments box below thank you so much for watching and until next time have a good one bye bye